What's up guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Instagram and Redbubble. Not specifically a tutorial because we've done probably hundreds of them already. Uh, but we're going to be talking about the false uh, affirmation that you get from using Redbubble and Instagram. Now, what do I mean? I'll go ahead and talk about that. So, I've spoken about this before, but when you're dealing with a platform that you do not own. A lot of the times it's a gamified platform, which means you're going to essentially move up levels. And the higher you move up in the ranking, aka the levels, the more sales you get, the more wins you get, the more rewards you get. Now, the thing is that, you know, Redbubble is a gamified system, right? So, for example, if I search for Tiger, right, and my design is on page 15, let's say, I'm probably not going to get any sales, right? And assuming that's the only tag that I use, right? But let's just say somehow, some way, I slowly started to accumulate sales, just some random way, right? What's going to happen is I'm not going to be on page 15 anymore. I'm going to move up to page 10, page 8, page 4, page 2, etc., right? And everybody who's taken the tagging course knows about this and knows what the whole point of using specific tags are to get certain sales. We all know about this, right? The thing is, is that's, that makes it a gamified type platform, right? You're moving up the levels, and as you're moving up the levels, you're achieving or you're receiving more rewards, okay? The thing with this is that there is a shortcut to this. There is a, a proxy, if you will, and it's called Instagram. You can go on Instagram, you can create an Instagram profile, you can promote specific products, and you can almost in essentially in a way force them to get sales, and you're forcing it in a way that's relatively artificial. It's not organic by any means. And when I say artificial, I'll explain what I mean. The organic way, the natural way that somebody purchases something on Redbubble is somebody will search for something or it will be recommended to them or whatever the case may be. But they search for something, they find a product that they select, they click on it, and then they purchase it right? That's fair to say. That's the organic natural way. But with Instagram, it's very different. With Instagram, we're using an automation tool. We're automating our Instagram account. We're growing our Instagram account. We're reaching out to people through the tool, right? I've shown how this works. This is an example of the tool. I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me go ahead and try to move this here. You guys can see here, I'm using the tool and I interact with people. I get interaction back. Out of that interaction, I'm targeting specific individuals and I'm receiving results from it. I've even shown YouTube videos where I've gotten sales, uh, I think in the first, um, what, 18 hours I think I did. I, and I'll just go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. Autopilot passive income dot com, not dot com, YouTube channel rather. If you go over here to the channel, you scroll down. Actually, we don't even have to scroll down. We could just hit the search button here, type in 18 hours, and where's the video here? I know, man, it's somewhere here. Uh, how I got my first sale within 18 hours or something like that. Uh, how I got my, let's say, first sale. How about that? Let's type in Redbubble first sale. How about that? Let's see. Uh, here it is. This is the video. How I got my first sale on Redbubble in a brand new store. And I got it within 18 hours. And I did that with Instagram, right? This system is artificial. It's not natural. It's not organic. And what it is, is you're reaching out to people who are interested because you know they're interested because you're targeting them off other accounts. And like I said, I've done videos on this. I even done a free course on this. So if you don't know about the free course, just go to Autopilot Passive Income, click on this other button. You have Instagram plus Redbubble mini course, and then you have Instagram uh, bot installation guide. So all of this, right, all of this considered, all of this together, there's a way to increase sales or to force sales through in an inorganic matter or in, in a um, an artificial matter, okay? The problem with this is this creates a false reality, a fallacy, a, a, a false affirmation, if you will. Why? Let me explain. When you're doing Redbubble for the first month, for the first two months, for the first three months, whatever, and you're not getting any sales, what you're going to do is by nature, you're going to think, okay, what I'm doing here is not working. I need to shift what I'm doing. I need to change what I'm doing. Now, this is not just for Redbubble, but this is for all businesses. Whether you're doing merch by Amazon, whether you're starting an actual legit business where you're going out there and you're manufacturing products and you're creating a website, whatever the case may be. When you're doing something over and over and over again, and then you realize it's not working, what do you do? 
by nature, you're going to start changing what you're doing. You're going to figure out what am I doing wrong so I can change it. The problem with, with this and where Instagram runs in is that Instagram is going to start inflating your values. You're going to start getting more traffic. You're going to start getting more sales. And you're going to be thinking it's because of Redbubble. You're going to be thinking it's because of the traits that make you successful at Redbubble. Now, let's just ask ourselves between me and you, what are those traits that make somebody successful at Redbubble? If we just forget about Instagram for a minute, what are those specific traits? Well, I can tell you right off the bat that those specific traits are a few things. We actually covered them in the courses. The first trait is the ability to tag properly, right? The second ability is to ability to title your product properly. The third ability is to be able to design properly. The fourth ability is to be able to design in a way that's desirable to consumers. The f- you know, fourth, fifth, etc. Another thing is to make sure that your designs are actually seen, which has to do with tagging, titling, etc. But desired and also on top of that to be able to put out enough designs, so output, that you actually hold some weight in the algorithm right? Those are certain characteristics that make somebody successful on Redbubble. Well, if you just go ahead and forget about all those characteristics, you're doing, you know, what beginners do on Redbubble, which is most likely incorrect strategies. And you keep doing that over and over and over again, but then you hop on an Instagram bot and you don't change anything. You're going to start making sales, but you're going to start believing that you're getting sales and that everything is a okay. The problem with that is when you're getting sales, it is a false reality. Now, don't get me wrong. Those sales are going to be very real and it's going to be money that shows up in your account. The only problem is, is you're getting sales not because of the way you tagged, not because of the way you titled, not because of your design, but you got the sales because you're essentially inflating it with traffic. Now, there's good and bad to this. The good is that you know how to send traffic from outside of Redbubble to Redbubble. That's a good thing. The bad thing about this is, like I said, you're forgetting about what makes a Redbubble seller successful. Imagine if Instagram disappeared next week. Imagine if the U.S. government said, you know what? We're not going to do Instagram anymore. We're canceling Instagram. Instagram's done. What will happen to your business in that case? It will go bye-bye. It will disappear. Why? Because you're not going to know how to drive any more traffic because the original skills that you're supposed to garner and cultivate never existed. So you're going to be doing the same things that you once did that were incorrectly, that were incorrect, and you're expecting them to work, but they don't. So what I'm trying to say here is, is that Instagram is not a replacement for what you're doing, but, and it's not a supplement, but it's just an additive, It's a steroid. It's a fuel to the fire. The reason why I say this is because, and I've said this in a different video, I don't know if you guys remember it, but I specifically said that Instagram is the last resort. After you've successfully learned how to title properly, after you've successfully learned how to tag properly, and you've verified those results by going to your analytics, by going to your dashboards, by seeing the sales, well, now you have a predictable method as to how to make income on Redbubble, but now you can expand by adding to it. I'll tell you guys a quick little story, and I'm not a good storyteller, but I figured I'd tell this story anyway, but in the world of Instagram, there used to be a method that used to drive a significant amount of traffic called mass looking. Mass looking existed for about three weeks. This was a strategy. This was a method. And the way the method worked was you would you, you would have a system that this system would watch hundreds of thousands of stories by the minute, right? And what would happen is, is your profile watches all these stories, you would start getting sales, you would start getting followers, you would get hundreds of followers on a daily basis, you'd get, you know, tens and 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 sales in the day, you'd get a lot, okay? What would happen is, is that a lot of people solely relied on that. And I had a client, and I always used to tell this client, and, and we used to do consulting with this client, and I always used to say, listen, you're doing great with Instagram now. You're getting lots of results. You're making, you're earning lots of money. This guy was earning over 15000 using the methods per month that I was showing him with the Instagram. The only problem is I said, listen, you're going to have to learn other tactics, other strategies, other growth strategies to be able to keep your business on solid ground. Because what if one day this whole Instagram thing disappears? What if one day it's not the same as it used to be, right? 
Well, the thing is, is that that's exactly what happened. Now, he didn't take my advice. He said, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. But he never actually took the advice and truly moved forward. And I recommended things like learning how to do Google advertising. I learned, I, I recommended doing things like uh, jumping on other social media platforms. I recommended doing things like blogging, learning SEO. The only problem is this person didn't actually listen. They didn't do what I told them to do. And what happened was mass looking came to an end. And as la mass looking to came to an end, so did his income. And now he was struggling trying to figure out, all right, what else am I going to do? So really what this video is, is not to say that Instagram is bad because it's not. And a lot of people do make money through Instagram. Whether you make money in a month, in two months, or two hours, you can make money off of Instagram. The only problem is, is that a lot of the times when people start making money through Instagram, they blind themselves to the original tried and true methods, which is SEO, which is, you know, organic, passive growth. And the reality is, is that this is... This happens to more more often than not for people because people are always looking for a cheat code. They're always looking for a steroid. Believe it or not, in the world out there, there are steroids that do exist. In this case, with Redbubble, a steroid is social media. And a super steroid is Instagram bots. For, the Insta for those who don't know about the Instagram bots, you have igbots.org, for example. I'll just go ahead and whip it out here. igbots.org. Then you have the other one called uh, bots and apps gumroad.com that's also another company that I'm currently an affiliate for I am an affiliate for another company I'm not going to mention them now because they're just not my favorite currently I mean these guys just do it better uh, so I just figured I mentioned them but these are examples of tools that work but like I said you don't want to get jaded you don't want to get blinded to the things that are the most important Instagram is one of those things that can help you is it going to be your your full-on business? The answer is no, it shouldn't be. The reason why it shouldn't be your full-on business is because you have to incorporate other details, other strategies, other methods to continue building your business. And one of the methods that should always exist and should always be learned first is how to master gaining organic traffic. Now, like I said, by no means am I saying that Instagram is a bad thing. In fact, it's the opposite. It's good. It's too good. It's too good for people who know how to actually do it. The problem is, is that it's so good that people forget about what actually matters, and that's SEO, and that's building traffic over a long period of time. And see, Instagram traffic and, and uh, you know, SEO traffic are complete opposites. Instagram, you're going to get high spikes, high spikes of traffic really quickly. You're going to get 50 visitors in one shot, in one day. You're going to get 60 visitors a day, right? You're going to get 100 visitors a day, 20 visitors a day. SEO is different. You might get two visitors a day, but it's over a long period of time, right? So there's differences there and they have different values and they're different, you know, in terms of importance in, to certain businesses. But at the end of the day, we should always try to diversify. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully this video helped out, give some precedence to my kind of ideas here. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.